I find when I'm using Twitter, the thing that works really well for me as a chef who also writes is being able to communicate directly with people who are cooking my recipes. So sometimes I'll get people tweeting saying, hey, I made this, it didn't quite work out what was wrong with it. And that's really interesting because then I can engage and find out what happened and I can make my recipes of a better quality. But also people tweet pictures of stuff they've cooked. And for me, that is so satisfying and enjoyable. I think it was when I identified the difference between a tweet and an email and that sort of lack of formality in the conversation that you can have over Twitter. Normally when I get an email about my restaurant, it's a complaint, generally. Sometimes people will write something nice, but normally it's a complaint. But actually just being able to, people tweeting saying, I love this, I didn't like that so much, whatever it is, just that easy conversation is really important. I've just opened a new restaurant in East London called Rotorino and I've obviously been stuck in the kitchen most of the time. My business partner Jonathan Downey has been working really hard on the Twitter and doing an amazing job at kind of slowly building buzz, just giving small snip bits of information as we were, as we were sort of building up to the opening and it meant that we actually opened with a real bang with very, few, very little sort of pre-opening traditional press, just a lot of Twitter. I think one of the important things is to have good pictures. You're going to tweet a photograph, you're putting something about your restaurant that you really care about out into the world. Make sure it looks nice. And the other thing is be useful. You know, be, be helpful. Share content that is not just about you, that's about other people and that is interesting for everyone.